Hello everyone. I'm Hari from Zoho Work Drive. Zoho Work Drive is an online file storage and content collaboration platform that lets you organize and manage your team files efficiently. In this video, we will learn about how you can switch between desktop and cloud easily with Zoho Work Drive Sync for desktop. Work Drive Sync is a desktop app that syncs files between your Zoho Work Drive account and your computer. To begin, you can visit the website and click download and install the app on your desktop. The desktop sync works on Windows, Mac and Linux. Now, log in with your Zoho Work Drive credential. By default, the location of the sync folder will be the name of the Zoho Work Drive in user profile or home folder. However, you can always choose to change it to your preferred location. The default option is to sync all the folders in your Zoho Work Drive account, that is, My Folders, Shared With Me folder, and Team Folders. However, in order to skip downloading each file separately and save time in storage, you can choose to sync a Team folder or any specific personal or shared folder of your choice. To do this, click on the Work Drive tray icon and select the settings icon. Go to preference and account. Now choose the team folder or subfolder you want to sync. These preferences can be changed anytime. From the work drive tray icon, you can instantly view the recent files that you have accessed. When you create, join or be added to a team folder, you will be updated on that through the notifications. Clicking on this icon takes you to the web app. From the work drive folder icon, you can view all the folders that include my folders, shared with me folder and the team folders that you have synced. Work drive tray icon helps in understanding the status of the sync process. The work drive icon indicates all the files are completely synced. If the files are being synced, the sync icon keeps rotating. If you have paused syncing files, a pause sign appears over the sync icon and if error occurs while syncing files, work drive icon provides a link to show the sync errors. Sometimes you might want to have all your Zoho work drive files under a specific folder on your desktop for easy access. In that case, go to settings, select preferences and then the account. Click here and choose another location. Once the folder has been moved, the Zoho Work Drive app will restart. If the computer does not have a direct internet connection, you can specify how Zoho Work Drive should reach the internet. Situations like these arise when networks are protected from unauthorized access with a firewall. To configure, go to Settings, select Preferences and then click Network Settings. You can manually enter your server and port details. If the server requires authentication, enter the username and password of the proxy server. You can set the speed for uploads and downloads in your sync app to low, medium or high. For this, go to the settings, select preferences and choose the bandwidth. The default speed for both uploads and downloads will be set to high. The work drive app starts on system startup. By default, to change the start settings, go to settings and select preferences. Here, you can uncheck start work drive on system startup option. You can temporarily pause sync to run a processor intensive task or application on your computer. To pause syncing, go to settings and select pause syncing. To resume, go to settings and select resume syncing. If you have multiple computers, say one at the office and the other at home, you can still sync files in your Zoho Work Drive account to all the computers. Note that you can choose to sync different folders, that is, sync all the folders in one computer and only selected folders in another. If you face any problems using the desktop app for work drive, you can solve your problems faster by sending application logs to the support team. To do this, go to settings, select help and send logs. Here, you can give a description of your issue and send. When you no longer wish to sync your Zoho work drive account with the computer, you can disconnect that computer. To do this, click on the settings icon, go to preference and account. Here, you can find the option to disconnect. The files already synced will not be deleted, only the sync between that computer and Zoho work drive will be stopped. To uninstall or remove the Zoho work drive app, go to settings and select quit. Then 
go to Finder and choose Applications. Select Zoho WorkDrive app from the Applications list and right click to choose Move to Trash. Note that all the files uploaded are compressed and stored in the cloud in an encrypted format. Also, Writer, Sheet and Show files are synced as links. With this, we come to the end of the video. For more queries, write to us at support at zohoworkdrive.com.